All right, so in this video, we're going to insert some dynamic text to improve our number line model that we created in the last video. Um, we're going to neaten some of this up. If I open my object properties by hitting Control or Command E, I could do a few things here. So on the sliders, I'm going to get rid of A and B. It's confusing. I'm just going to show the values. So just negative 1 for A there. And these are variables, so they're always going to be changing, but I want the, only the value to be displayed. And then for these two points, the starting point A and the final point F, the answer of each addition problem, I'm just going to change this a little bit. So if the caption here just says start, instead of start, starting point at zero. And, and then here, point F will say, just for results, just to change up, change that up, and it, of course it's less wordy. So here it already looks a little bit neater. I'm going to move the word result up slightly, so they overlap. Right? Is so, so when they're <laughs> when they're the same, they're not on top of each other. Okay. So what else can we do here to really enhance this construction? Well, we can insert some dynamic text, and we can do this in many different ways. Um, I'm going to move our sliders up to make room for that text, and I'm going to right-click, unfix this one to move it up, and the same thing here. And I won't lock them back until I'm sure I have them where I want. Okay, so the dynamic text is simple. You click Insert Text over here. Um, this first text box will just be the first number here um, on the first slider. So all I'm going to do is click that slider value. And now what happens is as I change right, the slider, that number, that text changes as well. I want them to look the same, so I'm going to click Copy Visual Style. right? Click this and that so they're both the same color, and I can move on now. The next text box will basically follow the same idea, except it's following the other variable. And again, I want to copy the color there. Now this is looking a little bit better. In the middle here we're going to put the plus sign because we're adding them so students are more aware of what we're doing. And I'm going to move these closer together I think. That'll look better. And we're setting up an equation here so this will be equal to equal sign here. Oops. So for the result here, we just need to define a variable, and we'll call it the sum. And that could be really easy. We just go sum equals a plus b. Remember a and b from our last video. Those are the variables that represent the sliders. So here, when we look at the sum, that's always going to be the result, you can see right here, of the two sliders. So here, in this text box, click text box over here, we're just going to represent that sum right there. And one thing we can do here as well is add a hide box. So the caption could say sum. And here, what we're hiding is, of course, the sum. So as we scroll through, we'll find that. It's text, sorry, it's actually the last text box we made. And we'll click that, click apply. And then as we, oops. As we click or unclick this, right, it shows or hides the sum of these two numbers. So I would just change a few things here. Um, here, the text. I want to change the size of this text box. I'm just, I mean, it's just not really visible. So we'll fix that. So for text, we'll go try medium, and that's much nicer. Same thing with three and four. We'll go medium there. And let's just see how this looks now. All right, it looks a little bit better. And of course we could we could change these as we just drag our sliders around, right? Just to see what's happening. The text changes with it, and we always have an option to hide or show the sum, so they can have a chance to read it down here as well. And I guess if I'm using the word sum up here, I should probably use it down here as well. So I'll just fix that real fast. And of course you could add all sorts of little things here. You can have this sum match to the color of this text up here. 
um, whatever you need to do to make it clear. But the idea is you have lots of options. All right, hope this helped.